this another video. I just got done working out. Got some bag work in, a few rounds. <clears throat> I was feeling, I wasn't feeling great, so I had to come in and hit the bag, get some, get my body moving, get some sweat going, and it made me think, uh, inspired me to make this video. Yeah, I me, mean, I was just feeling like shit. I didn't want to work out, didn't really want to move, you know, and made me think like a lot of people feel like that. <clears throat> For myself, when I'm in a slump, when I feel off, when I feel weird, whatever, the best thing for myself to do is to go in the gym and put the work in, to go on the run and do the, do the four miles, do whatever it is. It's so easy to get caught up in a slump and get caught up in a pattern a pattern of <clears throat> just not getting that work in. So I found in my life, the best way to break that pattern is to get moving, hitting the bag, go for a run, go in nature, go for a hike. <clears throat> a lot of people I train, the main reason they come and they uh, want to train is because they're stuck in this pattern and they don't know how to get out. <clears throat> The quickest way to get out of a slump is to do three things. <clears throat> First thing is to write down, write down some things you want to accomplish within the week, within the day. <clears throat> this gives you like basically a, a script to, to follow. You know, like imagine like if we're in G playing GTA, you have a mission to accomplish, right? So whenever you have these, whatever you write down, it makes it to where <clears throat> you now have quests in your day-to-day -day life to accomplish. And once you accomplish it and you can uh, scratch it off the list, you it gives you this like really good feeling. It gives you that extra dopamine. The second thing is to do something very hard or do something that's gonna shock your body to break that pattern. <clears throat> so some of these things could be something like a cold, a cold bath. It has to be very cold. It has to be really cold though. It has to be cold enough to where you get out of your comfort zone and you are kind of scared to do it in order to break your pattern. <clears throat> or maybe a, a long run, a long hard run, you know, something that you don't want to do where your body is telling you to quit but you push through it. This right here is going to set yourself in a different pattern and it just kind of, it just puts you in a good, a good place, you know, <clears throat> or, or going to the gym and just fighting people, you know, go to the gym, go to boxing gym, go to the MMA gym, go to the jujitsu gym and spar, you know, these things will make you feel good and get you out of that slump. Every single time in my life where I've been in a slump, it's been because uh, does not get enough physical activity. And <clears throat> when I feel, whenever I feel my very best, it's always when I'm training and I'm doing jujitsu or I'm doing MMA. I'm getting that hard work in to where, and I'm, ex I'm, ex I'm getting all that energy out of my body. It makes me, me personally, that's how I get out of slumps. Hitting the weights, hitting the gym, just physical activity, you know? And the third thing, where, where your, uh, there's a saying, where your energy goes, where your focus goes, your energy goes, or something like that. I'm butchering it, but it's something along those lines. <clears throat> and that's something I really believe. So, for example, if you're someone who wants to lose 30 pounds, right, <clears throat> it might feel like uh, it's a crazy task. It might feel like something that, you feel like you really can't do, you know? And for the first month, the first month and a half, you might not see no results. You might see zero results. And for a lot of people, that's gonna be soul crushing. For a lot of people, they're gonna be like, I'm putting in all this work, why should I continue? All right, so there's also a saying, and it's a fact, 
energy cannot be created or destroyed. So if you're putting an effort to a certain thing, you have to get results. There's no way around it. Even if you fail, even if you fail a few times, whatever, you're going to get results because energy, you're putting energy in that thing, you're going to get results. So, <clears throat> so changing your focus, really taking a second and looking at your your day-to-day -day thoughts, your day-to-day -day thoughts while you're in this slump. You could catch this pattern of whatever your thoughts are and you break this pattern. Once you break this pattern, you put it in a more positive uh, positive way that aligns with your goals and your mission in life, whatever it is that you're doing. If you're trying to lose 30 pounds, all right, great. Are you focusing on how hard it's going to be to lose the 30 pounds or are you focusing on, all right, today I'm an inch closer. I'm an inch closer. And then in three months, after three months of inching closer, now you have a lot of momentum. Building momentum. Building momentum through focus, energy, intensity, your daily thoughts. These are things I use personally to get me out of slumps, whether it's a, a workout slump, whether it's a, 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 a mental slump, whatever it is, you know, so <clears throat> hit the gym, set some goals, do something hard and shock your body, break the pattern. Humans are, uh, we're creatures of habit, so you have to break these patterns break the, to, in order to get out of slump you're in um and see your thought patterns you know where your focus goes your energy goes so <clears throat> if you're focusing on oh shit i'm so fat you're gonna get fatter if you're focused on how can i lose this weight what can i do to lose this weight you're gonna start asking yourself different questions you're gonna start asking yourself different questions and you're gonna get different answers and that's how it goes. That's how uh, you break the slump.